Now, what's interesting about this is that the Greek word which we translate as magnify, my soul magnifies the Lord, means to enlarge or make greater. Now, one of our, our fabulous UCC preachers, Quinn Caldwell, says that your soul, your soul is like a magnifying glass. Isn't that a wonderful <coughs> image? That through your soul, you can see God closer and in greater detail. So your soul puts a magnifying glass on God. And I think that's pretty astonishing when you think about it, that we, we mere humans, could put a magnifying glass on the nature of God. But our reading says that your soul has this ability, has this capacity. Now, a little bit of technical word here. The first, actually, this um, reading is a poetic um, reading. And so the first two verses are held in what we call parallelism. If you read a lot of the Psalms or poetry in the Bible, you'll see that there's a parallelism. That means the first verse makes a statement, and the second verse, which immediately follows, either clarifies or expands what you just read. So here it is in this one. My soul magnifies the Lord. And then immediately following, an expansion or a clarification. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. So when Mary magnifies the Lord, when through Mary's soul a magnifying glass is put on the nature of God, it causes her to rejoice. It brings joy when you think of it. What greater joy could we know than if something in our soul enlarges or expands our view and understanding of God? And she does this because it's good news for her. And what is the good news that Mary is proclaiming? The good news is that God took a poor young woman and made her the mother of Jesus the one whom we call Savior. If God could take a poor young woman 2,000 years ago and effect that kind of miracle, what can God do with each one of us? And then she tells even more, and this is what give her, gives her joy. In her song, she says that God has reversed the social order. God has filled and fed the hungry. God has made the powerful lose their control and position. God has brought grace and life to those without power. God has brought joy to those who do not feel joy. So I want, wonder if you could say these words with me, and maybe someday you'll either, we'll all sing them together. <laughs> say these words with me. My soul magnifies the Lord. My soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. So what about your soul acts as a magnifying glass to some dimension of God? What about your soul, your very being, tells us something about who God is. I want you to ponder that question because to discern this is to know true joy. And you know what? It's something to sing about and tell to the world. Amen. <laughs>